Hello and welcome to another episode of Weekly Death Match. Why am I talking really fast? Well, you see, it's because I don't have much time left in my day, but that's not going to make this video go by any faster, so I may as well sit back and leisurely enjoy the narration. Um, I was... I woke up at about 11, because I have a good sleep schedule. I work evenings, don't judge me. Um, and then I, I woke up and I took a leisurely stroll up to the shops. I bought myself some lunch. I came home and ate myself for lunch. I sat and I ate it. That was quite nice. And then I thought, hey, I have a lot of, I have a lot of GTA 3 clips on my PlayStation 4, so I booted up my PlayStation 4, and I put those clips into a tasty video sandwich. And by the way, uh, I've found a limitation with Share Factory. There's a maximum clip limit of 50 clips, which is annoying, but we worked around it. Um, and I have now uploaded and published the GTA 3 video, which I thought was pretty good. And then I went, it's Tuesday! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> so uh, I've thrown together this weekly deathmatch real quick. So that's why it's Summer of Tournament again. I did try, okay, so I'm in the beta flight for Halo um, Combat Evolved uh, on PC. And I have played some multiplayer matches of that. I've got some clips of it actually. It'll probably be in my next Halo shenanigans. Um, but I, I tried to boot it up today, to play it today, and they're only doing 8v8 now, uh, because that's the way the flying tests work. It, it limits you to what you can play. and So that means I had to find 16 players, and I could not find 16 players, because they also schedule group play times. And now I was quite far away from any group playing time. So I was sat in a queue for about 20 minutes. <laughs> well, I don't want to exaggerate, because it might that might give people the wrong impression. It was more like 10 minutes um, while I was just uh, finishing up the, the fin final touches of the GTA video in the background. And I couldn't get a game, so you're not getting Halo today, I'm afraid. But I assume the flighting will be finished by next week. But if I have time, I will record a game and save it in the archive for next week's weekly deathmatch. That's not a promise, because I actually don't know. It might end today. If it ends today, I don't have time, I'm afraid. Um, but I do want to try and get that, because I think it's pretty cool to be like, hey, look, I've got an early look at this. Uh, I actually submitted a bug report. See, I'm a good insider. You want me? Blizzard, are you listening? You want me on your beta tests because I actually test the content and submit feedback. That's what I do. Um, <laughs> well, okay, so with World of Warcraft, uh, running through the beta tests I've done over the years, because I started for Mr. Pandaria, I got into the Warlords of Draenor beta test and I went, ooh, I don't really want to spoil anything. So all I did was load up the world and explore Shadowmoon Valley and Talador uh, on a hunter, which made me want to make a hunter. Uh, in the actual game. That's pretty much all I did. I didn't actually test anything. Uh, and then for Legion, I don't think I got invited. And then for Battle for Azeroth, I did get invited, but I didn't even install it because, again, I didn't want spoilers. But I've changed my mind about the whole process. And I think if I get invited to the Shadowlands beta, I'm actually going to test it and submit reports and stuff like that. Um, because the whole problem with, well, not the whole problem, but a part of the problem with Battle for Azeroth was that they didn't have enough people testing it. And there's a whole big argument of, yeah, but why should I be giving Blizzard my free time to play the content at its not prime state? And, you know, sure, that's fine, but I mean, that's also the reason why, or one of the reasons why there were so many bugs in the game. So there's that. This is definitely a ramble, isn't it? This is uh, this is one of the more ramblier weekly death matches. Let me pause the narration and think of a suitable topic. So I haven't really done anything all that new uh, going on from last week's weekly deathmatch. I've just been playing more Animal Crossing, more GTA 3, as you can tell by the lovely video that I just published. Um, so Plants and Grimes is pretty much the sum of it. Uh, but also I debuted my thoughts on micro podcast thingy. Uh, and I started that by, well, firstly I started that by doing a micro podcast thingy on the idea of doing a micro podcast thingy, which is very meta if I do say so myself. Um, as if mess is a compliment. Uh, and then I did the actual first episode on the Dragon Quest movie, the Your Story movie, so go watch that video if you want to hear my thoughts on that. Uh, but I think it's really cool because one of the reasons why I don't watch many movies is because it's a fairly big time investment as far as how many hours you have in a day, um, because I'm always thinking about that kind of thing. Which is probably not a healthy way to live, but that's a topic for another time. Um, but also it's attention span and all that kind of stuff, but if I am making content out of it, which 
everything is content. Everything has to be content, according to my brain. Um, it kind of feels like it gives me more of an incentive to actually watch movies. And given that I haven't watched many movies in my life, that also gives me incentive. Uh, incentive, but also gives me a huge amount of material to work with. However, there are some future projects I have in mind, so I probably won't be watching really old movies by myself. Um, I'll probably just watch like new releases and stuff on Netflix. Um, kind of more current content is what I want for the micro podcast series. So I haven't seen the Joker yet, so when I see Joker, I'll probably do one on that. Uh, that kind of thing. I'm not going to go and watch like the, ba- the original Batman movies and stuff like that. I kind of have an idea for the future for something like that. Either way, though, it's refreshing to have a new kind of creative project in the works on this channel. Um, it's I love doing these weekly death matches and the shenanigans videos and stuff, uh, but when you do it for too long, it becomes almost automatic to you, and it's it was a nice challenge to figure out how to edit a different style of video together. Like I do the narration, and then I've got to figure out what I'm putting on the screen, and then I've got to figure out what kind of background music I'm going to have and how I'm going to acquire it, and you know if it's going to help keep retention and all that kind of stuff, all that kind of lovely stuff. I have so much to talk about this week, don't I? Last night, I had a dream that a kitten was tapping on my window. It wanted to come in, even though my bedroom is not on the bottom floor. Uh, And actually, this wasn't even in the house that I currently live in, or any house I've ever lived in or seen. I kind of invented this house in my brain, weirdly enough. But it was tapping on my window. I think I was, like, many floors up thinking about it. But it was tapping on my window, and it wanted to come in and be adopted. And his his little cat dad was with it. Uh, so it was two cats that wanted to be adopted by me, and I opened the window, I let them in, and they came with a little note attached to their collars saying, Hi, uh, we're the previous owners of these cats, they've been like vaccinated and, and muted and all that kind of stuff. Um, but we can't afford to keep them, so we let them roam free, which is terrible, don't do that to your cats. But um, anyone is free to adopt these cats, so I, I did in the dream. And <laughs> In the dream, my current cat, Coral, who's currently sleeping next to me, uh, got very jealous and kind of like they would be sleeping on my lap and she would come and sit on my chest and look at me like, why did you adopt two new cats? But I just thought I would share that dream because it was it was a super weird game, a dream. If you've ever played the game Tomodachi Life and you see how weird the dreams of the characters in that game are, it was that style of dream in just how bonkers it was how out there, how weird, but I think that pretty much does it for my commentary today. Hopefully this weekly deathmatch wasn't too boring, I feel like I just kind of rambled a bit and then had nothing new to talk about really, um, but I don't know, I don't think I, I really do have anything new to talk about, I'm still thinking about what I did this week, I think I just, I don't know, I just don't know Jeff.